This is presentation of Muhammad Amir, official. Canada, the world best country to live. In this video, you will know the complete process of Canadian citizenship and as well as immigration process. Canada is a country that consistently ranks highly for quality of life, making it an attractive destination for individuals seeking a better standard of living. There are a number of reasons why Canada is often considered the best country for living, including its strong economy, excellent healthcare system, welcoming culture, and high standard of living. One of the key factors that makes Canada a desirable place to live is its strong economy. Canada has a diverse and robust economy, with a mix of industries including natural resources, manufacturing, technology, and services. The country has a stable banking system and a strong regulatory environment, which helps to promote business growth and investment. This has resulted in a high standard of living for Canadians, with low levels of poverty and a high median household income. Another reason why Canada is a desirable place to live is its excellent healthcare system. Canada has a publicly funded healthcare system that provides free medical services to all residents, regardless of their income or employment status. This system is known for its high quality of care and low costs, making healthcare accessible to all Canadians. In addition, Canada has a strong focus on preventative care and health promotion, which helps to keep people healthy and reduce the burden on the healthcare system. Canada is also known for its welcoming culture, which makes it a great place for newcomers to feel at home. Canada has a multicultural society, with people from all over the world living and working together. This diversity is celebrated and encouraged, with many festivals and events throughout the year that showcase different cultures and traditions. Canada also has a high standard of living, with a good education system, clean environment, and strong social welfare programs. Canadians have access to high-quality education at all levels, from primary school to post-secondary education. The country has a strong focus on environmental sustainability, with many initiatives in place to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and promote renewable energy. Canada has a comprehensive social welfare system that provides support to those who need it, including healthcare, education, and social assistance. So, how can one become a Canadian citizen? There are several pathways to obtaining Canadian citizenship, including Permanent residency The first step to becoming a Canadian citizen is to obtain permanent residency. This can be done through various programs, such as the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Canadian Experience Class, or the Provincial Nominee Program. Each program has its own eligibility criteria, so it's important to research which one is right for you. Citizenship Application Once you have obtained permanent residency, you can apply for Canadian citizenship. To be eligible, you must have lived in Canada for at least three out of the past five years, be proficient in English or French, and pass a citizenship test. Citizenship Ceremony If your citizenship application is approved, you will be invited to attend a citizenship ceremony. At the ceremony, you will take an oath of citizenship and receive your Canadian citizenship certificate. It's important to note that the process of obtaining Canadian citizenship can be lengthy and complex, so it's a good idea to seek the advice of an immigration lawyer or consultant to help guide you through the process. While the process of obtaining Canadian citizenship can be challenging, it's certainly worth the effort for those seeking a better quality of life. The immigration process for Canada can seem overwhelming and complex, but with proper guidance and preparation, it can be manageable. Determine your eligibility The first step to immigrating to Canada is to determine your eligibility. There are different immigration programs, such as Express Entry, Provincial Nominee Programs, PNP, Family Class Sponsorship, and others. You will need to check the eligibility criteria for the program you are interested in and determine if you meet the requirements. Submit your application once you have determined your eligibility, you can start your application. You may need to provide information about your education, work experience, language ability, and other personal details. Wait for processing after you submit your application, you will need to wait for processing. You can check the estimated processing times on the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, website. Receive an invitation to apply, ETER, if you apply through Express Entry, you will be ranked based on a point system called the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS. If you score high enough, you will receive an invitation to apply, ETER. The ETER will allow you to apply for permanent residence. Complete medical and security checks before you can be approved for permanent residence, you will need to undergo medical and security checks. 
You will be required to undergo a medical examination to ensure that you do not have any health issues that could pose a risk to public health. You will also need to undergo a security check to ensure that you do not pose a risk to Canada's national security. Submit additional documents after you have completed your medical and security checks. You will need to submit additional documents to support your application. These may include police certificates, proof of funds, and other supporting documents. Receive a decision on your application after you have submitted all the required documents. You will need to wait for a decision on your application. The processing time will depend on the immigration program you applied through and the volume of applications being processed. If your application is approved, you will receive a confirmation of permanent residence (COPR). Land in Canada once you have received your COPR, you can make arrangements to travel to Canada. You will need to show your COPR to the immigration officer at the port of entry. The officer will confirm your eligibility and approve your entry into Canada. You will become a permanent resident of Canada once you land in Canada. Settle in Canada after you have landed in Canada. You will need to start settling in. This may involve finding a place to live, enrolling in school or finding a job, and familiarizing yourself with Canadian culture and customs. You may also need to apply for a social insurance number, SIN, and a health card. In conclusion, immigrating to Canada can be a lengthy and complex process, but it can also be a rewarding experience. By following these steps and seeking guidance from an immigration professional if necessary, you can increase your chances of a successful application and a smooth transition to life in Canada. Made by Muhammad Amir, official. Thanks for watching.